morning, everybody. How are you? Miss Nay is good today. And let's get our lesson started. Um, let's just start by our hello song. You guys know this song. I hope you're singing along with me. So let's sing it together. Here we go. I'm looking at you. And what do I see? A happy face smiling back at me. And when I smile, you do too. Happy to see me, happy to see you, doing what we like to do. Happy to see you, happy to see me, I like you. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. One more time. I'm looking at you, and what do I see? A happy face smiling back at me. And when I smile, you do too. Happy to see me, happy to see you, doing what we like to do. Happy to see you, happy to see me, I like you. All right, nice job, guys. Now get your binoculars on and look outside. <gasps> Oh, something's starting to peek through the clouds. At my house, it was pretty cloudy this morning. But you know what? I think the wind is blowing those clouds away. And now I'm starting to see the sun. And then sometimes the clouds cover the sun again. And I see just a little sun and a little clouds. And now it looks like the clouds are blowing away, guys. So that makes me happy. I can go out today and take a walk. Maybe you can go out and play today. All right? So it should be sunny, guys. All right, what day is it today? Get your buses started. Are you ready? Get set, go! Hey, that bus stopped on Friday. It's Friday today, guys. What letter does Friday start with? F. Bite your lip and blow. F. Let's sign that together. The bus stopped on Friday. It is a Friday today. And tomorrow is Saturday. The next day is Sunday. Remember, we would say two days home. All right, we call that the weekend, right? All righty, guys, let's do a couple things today with numbers. For my little guys who are still working on our numbers, just basic math, let's read our book. Numbers one, two, three. One horse. Two shoes. And we know two of the same things that go together is a pair, a pair of shoes. Three animals. Four blocks. Five fingers. Stop and count your fingers, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Six is stuck. Six socks. Again, one pair, two pairs, three pairs of socks. Seven toys. Remember from last week, we call these rattles. A baby can hold on to them and shake them. Eight fish. What do we know about fish? They live in the water. You got it. Nine balls. Some are small, some are big. There's those opposites. 10 toes. Count your toes. Make sure you have 10 today. You should always have 10 toes and you always have 10 fingers. Take time today to count your fingers and your toes. 11, 11 crayons. Twelve stuffed animals. 
Now, some of you that are working on 1 to 20, 11 and 12 used to be kind of tricky. 11, 12. All right, the end. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about same and different today. Two things can be the same. Or two things can be totally different. Let me show you. These two animals are the same. Horse and horse. They are the same. These two animals, cow, cow, they are the same. And these two animals, dog, dog, are the same. And I sign same, same. Now let's talk about different. My cow and my dog are not the same. They are different. Okay? Are these the same or different? Same animal, but they're both dogs. Are these the same or different? Different. One is a dog, one is a cow. Let's do some more. Horse, horse, same or different? Same, they're both horses. Now what about cow and horse? No, they are not the same. They are different, okay? So today we talked about the same and different. At home, you can find toys that are the same. Maybe two blocks that are the same color, same size. And then there's some blocks that are not the same. They would be different, okay? Now let's talk about numbers. We're gonna talk about more and less. All right, we talked a little bit about this at school. If you guys can remember, we would look at a group and talk about which group has more, which group has less? So more is the bigger number, less is the smaller number. So here's number one to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, these bigger numbers are more, these numbers are less. So in my circle, I have two circles. And in this circle, there are four circles. Which group is less? Mm-hmm, two is less than four. This group has less. And here's number two, way down here. Four is a bigger number. This group has more circles in it. Okay, let's try another one. Let's work on stars for a minute. Which group has more? This group, because there's three. One, two, three. This group only has one. So this group has more stars than this group. Let's do one more. Oh, two more. Let's work on triangles. Which group has more? This group or this group? This group. One, two, three, four, five triangles. This group only has two. This is the bigger number. This group has more. And squares. Which group has more? This group or this group? Yep, this one, you're right. This group has six. This group only has four. Okay, so this is the bigger number. This group has more. All right. Today, you can sort your toys into a group of more or less, all right? Use your blocks, use marbles, use your small little manipulatives at home. Okay, guys, for our letter X, remember that easy X? It was easy to write the other day. Just two lines, X. Let's find the X in our word up here. This word says exit. That means to go out. You might see an exit sign above a door. That's where you go out. And here's my door, and atop or above my door is my exit sign. 
exit. Do you see the X? Yep, right there's X. My next word says X-ray. It's a machine that lets us see our bones inside our bodies. Do you see the X? Mm-hmm, there's X. My next word is box. Do you see the X? There it is at the end of the word. There's box, there's X. Now my next word says six. Number six, do you see the X? Mm-hmm, this one is at the end too. There's X. Don't forget that X, guys. Good job. All righty. For fine motor today, guys, I think it would be a good idea to trace lines with your fingers. So parents, if you wanna make squiggly lines along a paper and have your child follow it with their finger, it's good eye-hand coordination. Make it tricky, use different colors, but it's good eye-hand coordination and good for them to follow and track. So use their fingers to trace funny lines, okay? You can even get out your shaving cream, flour, sugar, and have them follow little tracks um, in your material that you've decided to use. For gross motor today, um, it's that Shake My Sillies Out song. So on YouTube, find a Shake My Sillies Out video, and it's a good get up and move video. And the kids know the song. We've done it many, many times. Um, and just get rid of those sillies, maybe before you even try sitting down and working with mom and dad on something. But might wanna get out and play a little bit too. No rain here. Hope it's not raining at your house today. Alrighty, so let's talk about he and she with our pictures again. Remember when I talk about a boy, here's my boy. He is kicking the ball, right? So let's do this together. What is he doing? Kicking. Let's say the whole thing. He is kicking the ball. Let's do another one. What is he doing? Brushing his teeth. Let's say the whole thing. He is brushing his teeth. Oh, and now we've got the girls. Girls. All right, what is she doing? Running. Let's say the whole thing. She is running. Okay. Oh, there's another girl. She, let's say the whole, what is she doing? Reading a book. Let's say the whole thing. She is reading a book. Okay. Very good. For some of the kids, it might be a good idea just to talk about who's a boy, who is a girl, and the four or five-year-olds should be learning to use he and she correctly in their sentences. All righty, guys. Um, and parents, if you can get in touch with me today, just give me a quick text or send me back a response to the video letting me know you saw that. That's how I keep track of our work together. So hope everyone is doing well. Miss Nay is good. I'm ready to get outside a little bit and play. So I'm thinking of you all and would love to hear from you. So be in touch and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.